Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Doesn't what is it? Yeah. Season 12? 12. 12. Doesn't Speaking seem of to be shows going that go anywhere. on forever. It's still going to, yeah. It's, it's still going to keep going. It's going strong. This is, in my opinion, we're in season 12, but it's yeah. already the best season. Oh, it's so good. We're like only four episodes in. In my opinion, it's the best season so far. Yeah. I mean, it's really hard to beat season one because it's just like all you have 11 seasons stuff. it's hard to beat all okay yeah yeah they you also, think season like, one's the best i love season one just because it's like all of their but crazy but stuff but at the start of it there's no danny there's no danny there's no danny but it's here here like here danny. i love it let's explain let's it for people it. who don't know it before we get into the specifics do you guys nick wanna? it's your show, you nick, talk it's your show. all right so uh, how many are there five uh plus danny six so it's, um, it's hard to like know I what their just relationships Dean, are with one another, other than uh, D and Dennis as brother and sister. Dennis is sort of a father to everyone at this point. R that there was that like weird thing that went on. It's basically four but, yeah. four white people who own a bar in Philadelphia. A right. really and crappy bar. Well, really crappy. Well, D's not an owner. <laughs> she gets Nick, no, she shut gets up. No <laughs> What Charlie, you're Charlie making own it more it? confusing. Charlie, he just works there. He's just the maintenance worker no, there. No, he's part owner, though. Is he? Or did he give up part of his ownership in the last bit? No <laughs> spoiler alert. Nick, you're ruining this. No, go see it. It's so good. All right, yeah. Always Sunny. It's just these people, and they, they're in a bar setting, and they just do really, really dumb stuff. And they get into topics that you wouldn't expect people to get into on national TV. Mm -hmm. uh, they did an episode where somebody faked cancer just so he didn't have to, like, do something. Yes. At some, point. At some point. Well, in the in a most recent episode, um, Danny DeVito faked that he had AIDS at a water park <laughs> to, just to cut the just lines. to cut the lines. <laughs> and the, he, the way the way he did it was he got Charlie Day to give, to give him hickeys <laughs> all over his body. So it was like he, it's like stiff stuff you wouldn't you would not know how to even think of in your head. Yeah. I don't know. Quickly, we're quickly. You have a do you have a favorite moment? No. No? I mean, what we were talking about with Workaholics, how they never faltered. This show's on season 12, and it has never once faltered. I can't think of a bad episode, really. Every sh every episode is just hilarious in its own way. Do you have a favorite moment, Dylan? I don't have a favorite moment. I love Dayman Nightman, Night Man, obviously. <laughs> Dayman Nightman. I like Rum Ham. Rum is a good one. A great part. There's a, great, a lot of the great first moments. Isn't the first episode, like, the gas crisis? I, no, but I love the gas crisis. Gas part. crisis is good. That's just look at... The, the original Hitler is also good. The original you can just look up like best moments on YouTube or whatever we just said here on YouTube. It's good because you can watch that and still appreciate the show because the show doesn't have a storyline. So like, kind of does. I don't know. There's you some, can, like, there's some little filler you. You probably could won't pop up, into season five, episode six, and not really miss a beat. Well, you you can find that out on you your can own find that out on when your you own. go and check it out. It's, it's on, on Netflix. Netflix. Jinx Young Works Soda. On, we'll go back to Workaholics. Workaholics is on Amazon Prime if you have Prime. Perfect. Well, really quickly. Because we're super out of time. Rate, always sunny, as a, as a whole. As a whole, four. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to give him five through four, but nothing's perfect. I'll say four. Oh. I think it's a four out of five, but I'm just going to say four. I, I, I don't like Doesn't season one sense. as much as you do. Neither do I. So that's why, that's why I give it a four. All right. I love that pilot episode. Nick loves the pilot episode. They shot it with $200. All right, shut up.